After 11 years living in London, I moved to Bali by myself. Because as a photographer and creative director, I wanted to expand my creativity by being close to nature and having access to an insane amount of breathtaking landscapes. This week, I came back to Ubud to relax in the most stunning bamboo house in the middle of the jungle, explore with my scooter some of the most beautiful locations, and to capture some of them with my camera and with my drone. So sit down, relax, and I really hope you enjoy exploring with me today. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> so green. Thank you, terima kasih. This place is completely insane. It's a bamboo house in north of Ubud, and it's stunning. Basically, I'm in the middle of the jungle, and I can see a monkey there as well. It's crazy, guys. This is crazy. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy to be here, you wouldn't even believe. Because it's been so stressful for me since I arrived to Bali, I was jumping between places, trying to settle long term somewhere. And then since I settled, because I was exhausted, I wasn't exploring much. So I was looking forward to come back to Ubud because I love it. The photography here is insane. And there are so many places I have to discover up north as well. And there are so many rice terraces I want to shoot with my drone. So let's see how it goes. I have to go very early in the morning, but um, I'm so excited that they change location. And I have another scenario now. That's what I love about Bali. You can do whatever you want. If you are in the mood for the jungle, you come to the jungle. And if you are in the mood to dive, you go to Ahmed or to the Gili Islands. If you want to surf, you go to Uluwatu or to Changu. I feel like Bali has everything I love packed in an island. So I'm very happy and I needed this. I think you can tell how happy I am. And I'm gonna go exploring this week and I'm gonna take you with me in my scooter to all the places I have on my list. I don't know how many we're gonna do together, guys, because otherwise it's gonna be a very long vlog. And if I don't have time, because I'm going somewhere else in a week, I'm not gonna say anything yet. I will come back because that's the beauty of living in Bali. I love it. It's so peaceful here. I'm so happy. <laughs> and everything is beautiful here. Even the colors, <laughs> the orange colors and the greens and even the blues of the little pool I have here. It's gonna be very nice. Um, but the noises as well. I hope you can hear them. It's very scary because I can hear monkeys <laughs> there between the bamboo trees. Can you hear the noise? The noise, not the sounds of the jungle. So loud. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I slept surprisingly well, and I say surprisingly because the bamboo houses are very beautiful, but they are not very practical, okay? It's a beautiful experience because you sleep in the jungle, literally. But there are no windows, everything is open. You just have a few curtains, which don't close very well. <laughs> so all the bugs come in. You have a mosquito net, yes, but I had so many insects inside of it and the nature sounds are so beautiful and I love them, but they were very loud, too loud to be able to sleep, but I always cover with me airplugs, so I'm very happy about that. And I slept like a baby. It was very good. I had a very good night and I'm gonna take some photos here because the place is beautiful. Come on, I need to take photos here. So yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm gonna go slow today and enjoy my first day in Ubud during this week. Mm -hmm. 
I have a little confession to make. <laughs> I do have a new camera and I'm very excited about it because it's been ages I wanted it. But for one reason or another, I didn't get it. And now they are sponsoring today's video. So I'm very excited about that. And that camera is the Insta360. Probably you heard about it. I think it's incredible to record yourself because it's 5.7K, but it's not because of that only. It's because you can record yourself with an invisible selfie stick. And fair enough, you're gonna see many shots I'm holding the stick, even if it's invisible, because you can see the position of the hand, but it doesn't matter, because what I want is to record myself from far away, and that can be achievable with a selfie stick, and at the same time, show you the scenery of Bali. So for me, this is incredible. So you're gonna see in this vlog so many shots taken with the Insta360. So I'm so happy to have it, and I'm very excited to use it during this video. This is rainy season. <laughs> it's raining like crazy. It was sunny and two minutes later it started to rain a lot. But I love it. I love the colors and I love moody photography. You may know that if you follow me. So yeah, regardless, I'm gonna take the photos because I can't wait. And I have to say like this place is even more charming when it's raining. I love it. Okay, enough. <laughs> I have enough, it's freezing. So I'm gonna dry my iPhone and yeah, that's it. I've got the shot, it's more than enough. It's very cold. So I don't know what I'm gonna do now because the other spots where I wanted to shoot, I do need it dry. We'll see if I can do something else today. Let's improvise, I'm gonna improvise completely. First, I need to dry because I'm very cold, and then I'm gonna try upstairs. My hair is kind of crazy, but I like it <laughs> somehow. Okay, so it's sunny now, it's not raining anymore. It was just in a matter of a minute, as I said before. So I'm gonna take the chance to take more shots upstairs because you never know when it's gonna rain again. I think, I don't know, I may fly the drone again. I did it this morning, but um, yeah, it was very risky because there is trees everywhere. So <laughs> I'm a beginner, so I was very scared to crash it. But I would like to change outfit because I was shooting this morning with this outfit and it's not too bad, but I think I want to wear something a bit more dressy just for the shots. Um, I'm not gonna wear one of these influencer dresses. They are beautiful, but it's not my style of photography. But yeah, I may wear something else and take some shots here. I don't know, I'm scared to fly the drone again here because it was quite hard this morning. You see all these palm trees. The drone has to be around there, but backwards to be able to take all the bamboo house. And yeah, it was very risky this morning, so... I'm doing this because I don't have a mirror here. <laughs> so I had to use my camera for it. I had to put myself pretty for the photos. Okay, more or less. So this one is very nice, it's linen. I bought it the other day in Bingin next to Luwatu, but it's not gonna stand out because of the color of the clothing. So no, I'm gonna wear white because white I think is gonna stand out a little bit. Yeah, this one. I love it. And I think I'm gonna wear underneath something red because it's gonna stand out even more. The lighting now is so beautiful and it's not very sunny, so it's gonna be good. It's sunny, but here there is shade, so it's good for the photos. It's quite windy for the drone though. I don't trust it. <laughs> the trees are too close. And I don't wanna cross the drone today. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite windy. Hmm, we'll see.
I didn't like the red top in the end for the drone shots. It was too much going on. I like to be more plain. So in the end, I was using the black uh, bottom I have and then all white. I'm gonna get changed get comfortable and do some work as well because I had to edit a bit the vlog of today because otherwise it's gonna be a mess. I have a lot of footage. I'm gonna chill, relax and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone. I'm already in another resort which is stunning as well but it's more comfortable than the bamboo house to be honest. No bags, everything is closed. I have windows <laughs> and this beautiful balcony. I can work here in this desk and jungle views so it's incredible so i'm gonna go in a photography adventure today i'm not gonna promise anything i'm gonna have the first contact with the area i'm in north bali in ubud but very north highly recommended it's way more beautiful less traffic and rice terraces everywhere driving here it's incredible as well so today i think i'm gonna go hunting waterfalls um there are a few close to the resort but the most beautiful ones are up north. I will improvise the day. Quick gear scan. This is my poncho. This is a must because it's rainy season and yesterday I've got completely wet. This is the reality of Bali. I waited for three hours in a restaurant for the storm to pass. But yeah, suddenly there was another storm. So I needed this. So I'm gonna take it today because I know it's gonna rain. Then here I have like a fabric bag with things that don't fit in my camera bag. Then the tripod and then I'm being very minimalistic today and I'm taking just the Sony a7R5 with the 7200 and then my drone, some ND filters. I'm obviously taking my new Insta360 X3 and then obviously my Sony a7C I'm recording with right now to be able to record the vlog for you guys. That was close, very close. Mm. Yeah. 10, 20, yeah. perfect, thank you. Wow, this is amazing. So beautiful. incredibly productive these two hours you know guys i love self-portrait photography in a studio and also in nature even more in nature because i travel solo so i take my own travel photos and it's amazing it's very hard but i love the results all these photos have been edited with my lightroom preset moody greens which is the best seller is my favorite way to edit my travel photos so you can go check it out later i'm gonna link it below and let me know what you think. I'm very excited about these photos already. And by the way, notice I got chains. I was wearing black because in the scooter you get a bit dirty and with the backpack and everything. But I always wear something else like this white top to stand out from the landscape. Because if I wear black, you're not going to see me too much. So I'm just going to take the scooter and I'm going to improvise. Let's see where we go. we go next <laughs> I don't even know myself hi it's here for Tegalavan 
be the entrance and park here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Saints of plants, I came to Tegelalang Rice Terrace because waterfalls with once per day eat more than enough in the early morning to don't catch people. So as a photographer you have to go very early and then you don't have time to go to more waterfalls. So I came to the Rice Terrace because it's not very busy these days, rainy season, thanks to that. And they just stopped me to give me a free sample of coffee and I can do with some coffee to be honest. Oh, so many. Yes. <laughs> It's like wow, gratis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get uh, hyperactive. No, it's okay because this one is not much coffee in. Okay, perfect. I'm mixing. It's mixed. Okay, yes. wow, thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Mm, so good. Yeah, why not? It's free. It's free. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's why I said to you, like, you want to try free tasting. Really? Yeah. Yes, yes serve yourself. <laughs> yes, of course, with ice. I'm loving today, <laughs> to be honest. Pictures, videos and free coffee. Plus it doesn't have too much coffee on it because there are a lot of flavors mixed up, so it's fine. I have my coffee already in the morning. I cannot have too much. I'm very hyperactive already. <laughs> there are teas and coffees, both. Ginger tea, wow, strong. But tasty, so good. I think I'm so thirsty, that's why I'm craving this. It's all with ice. Mmm, mm, so good. So tasty. It's pink as well. <laughs> Very cute. I love it. Mango stinty. I may get it. That's why they do it, right? Free tasting. And then you want everything <laughs> and you want to buy. Makes sense. We have a tiny problem and that's the rain. It's starting to rain and the trekking is quite long because the rice terrace is huge. And I wanted to take photos and take it slow. I wanted to fly my drone probably. But yeah, it's quite risky to go there because then you don't have cover for anything. I do have a cover for my backpack. That's the most important part of my gear. But I don't have a cover for myself. I have the poncho in the motorbike. It's raining. But the Insta360 is waterproof, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm not waterproof though. <laughs> workout of today with a lot of kilos in my back I'm already tired <laughs> the stairs here are like one meter eight so freaking beautiful it is starting to rain a lot and I'm in the middle of nowhere, so I have to go back because otherwise I'm gonna get soaked. And it's very muddy here, for obvious reasons, it's a rice terrace. Okay, let's go down. I'm back in the rice terrace. As you can see, no tourist today, so it's way more comfortable for me to go exploring, taking photos. I'm flying the drone. There is a point over there. The levels of the rice terrace, it's very pronounced, so I think it can look very nice in the drone. Let's hope when I arrive, there is not too many people because now they are opening is 7.30 in the morning. So I guess people want to start to come around nine, hopefully, so I have more time, but we'll see. I'm very excited to be back and the lighting is beautiful as well.
How are you? <laughs> Good. You have a fresh coconut? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Coconut time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Yay. Nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> thank you. Beautiful. Oh, I love beautiful. it. <laughs> I love Bali. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So beautiful. The view is here. And a coconut. Life couldn't get any better. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's a nice snack. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I like that path there to put myself in the middle. It would be beautiful. I may try with the drone though. A little bit stressful um, but there was no people so it was fine i don't know if i mentioned in the bamboo house how i take the self-portraits with the drone which is next level self-portrait photography because it's quite hard so what i do is just put the self timer every five seconds so every five seconds the drone takes a picture and i just go around and go around and go around till i get something right and i don't like to post too much on the photos i like this kind of travel photography photos quite natural as much as I can so what I do is just walking around and I put the remote control in the middle where I want to be to remember how it's framed in the drone so I know I have to walk around the remote control that's my point <laughs> to be able to frame myself and I repeat and repeat and repeat solo traveling is incredibly hard in terms of getting content I'm going by myself everywhere and I love it because I'm so in my zone taking photos and videos I really love it and I don't have distractions from anyone because many times if you go with other people that are not photographers you don't want to bother them so you take a couple of photos and you go for me when I take photos I can spend the whole morning there till I get the photo I want so yeah um, but at the same time you don't have help so you have to record yourself and that's why the Insta360 is amazing to record myself because I can show you the surroundings and it looks like someone is recording me and I'm gonna show you in a bit the drone shot this was a real drone without a drone because you can do it with the insta360 so i'm gonna try it here for you to see because in case you freak out with the drone like i do as well to be honest or you don't have a drone or there is no gps signal you can use the insta360 so it's quite handy i'm loving it to be honest Okay, so I think this is the perfect place to show you the no drone shot with the Insta360. I have a stick here which extends up to three meters, but I'm gonna put it as high as I can and I'm gonna walk and you're gonna see how this is invisible and you're gonna be able to get like a drone shot without having a drone, which is great. So let's do it. <laughs> So this camera is 5.7K, which is incredible, but you have to take into account that it's through the whole lens, the 360. So when you are cutting, you lose resolution. So I recommend you to always shoot 5.7K. Also, it's waterproof up to 10 meters, and it has as well a diving case. I may get it as well because, as you may know, I'm a free diver and I'm in Bali, so I know I'm gonna do a lot of free diving, and I wanna put this one in the water with me. You have to be careful the scene is well lit. If it's too dark, you can see the quality 
a bit weaker, but that's normal with all small sensor cameras, also with the drone. So yeah, I think this one for creative shots, it's amazing. As you can see as well, the shots in the motorbike wouldn't be possible without the 360. So I'm very excited to have this one because now I can put more things in my vlog that I couldn't put before because I'm recording myself with a tripod everywhere I go. So I really hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about the creative shots I took with this one during the vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I hope you like the shots, but I'm enjoying the day, guys. I'm very happy. Look at this. <laughs> That's why I don't mind to come back to the locations because every time I come I see new things, new colors, I experience different weather and lighting as well. I think when you are a photographer you experience everything in way more detail because a tourist, yes, they may come, they see it and they leave. But when we are photographers, you come, you take every angle, you take every color, you take everything and you come back with different lighting and it's completely different and you can appreciate everything even more because there is not hard shadows so when you're a photographer i don't know i think you enjoy the locations way more and i enjoy so much going by myself everywhere <laughs> because as you can tell i can take forever and i love it i'm not in a rush i'm experiencing everything by myself with my camera doing video as well for you guys and yeah i'm i'm enjoying so much i'm so happy I can have my breaks here <laughs> to take my breath, which is great. Um, yeah, this is so peaceful and I'm so happy I left London. For those new here, I left London for Bali. I was living there for 11 years and it was great. Don't take me wrong. I had the best time of my life in London and in my career as well. But my body now asked me for nature and I have it. I have it and I feel so grateful. It's amazing. I'm sweating <laughs> like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> My God. You know, every time I had to record, <laughs> I had to stop. I cannot record walking because you can fall very easily to the rice terrace. So I don't want that drama to happen today, even though it would be very funny for you, for sure. A little update. <laughs> it's very easy to get lost here. I knew where the exit was, but I wanted to go through the middle. And yeah, you go through the middle, there are many paths and that's fine, you can go through the paths, but many of them, they don't have an exit. So yeah, I had to come back and yeah, I had to go up there, up there, up there, up there, up, up, up. Let's hope <laughs> it's this way. I mean, obviously I had to cross the rice terrace because the road is there and my scooter is there. But well, let's do more exercise, shall we? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight, that's for sure. I'm gonna get so fit. I love it. <laughs> uh, wow. Probably today I lost three kilos. At least maybe all water, but <laughs> I'm losing weight. I'm so dirty right now, but I'm very happy. I had an incredible morning and it's about to get better as well because I'm gonna have breakfast lunch, lunch breakfast because I didn't have anything. A part of that is snack in the rice fields. I'm going to take a shower now, get changed and relax for the rest of the day and take it slow. It feels great after the shower and a very productive morning. I'm gonna go to an amazing restaurant that's just here, actually, quite close. It's 
so peaceful. There's a swimming pool there, yes, palm trees, and a beautiful landscape. I love it. So relaxing. This is exactly what I need now. Oh, thank you. Carrot cabbage salad. Amazing, thank you. Fine spring rolls. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So I ordered Thai spring rolls and then a carrot and cabbage salad. And it looks amazing. I already tried the Thai spring rolls and they are so tasty with the sauce as well. And as I said before, all the ingredients are from their own garden and forest and everything is so tasty. So happy I found this place the other day. I'm starving. Mm. The spices they use, so tasty. I love the photos I've taken. I mean, it took a few times because I did have to come back to some locations and I ended up loving the photos with the drone as well. I thought maybe the light was too harsh. It was perfect. That's why I love photography so much because the satisfaction when you get home and you review the photos and you see them, it's insane. I love it. I love it. If you know me, I shoot a lot of portrait photography in London, creative portrait photography. I love many niches and it was such a long time I didn't shoot travel photography and I consider myself a beginner with the drone and I think I did a pretty good job. Also, I was taking the Insta360 videos and I had to show you how it works because it's insane and I'm gonna show you why. This is the Insta360 software and you're gonna see how amazing it is. So basically, with the Insta360 X3, you're gonna be able to point and shoot however you want because you can reframe later. And this is gold for everyone. So look at this. This is what I mean with reframing. So for example, this is me in the bike. And it's amazing because it looks like someone else is recording me. I could never do this shot if it wouldn't be because of this camera. But then what I can do is reframe and it's as easy as dragging the mouse and I can show you the landscape when I'm driving. I don't have to take different shots to create this. I can just point and shoot and then I take whatever I want to show you. So what you can do is put keyframes. I'm not gonna show you that because it's gonna take forever. This would be another tutorial, but you can just focus yourself, drop a keyframe, and then set another keyframe. So in the front, you have to do it smoothly, but then you're gonna be able to show everything, yourself and the landscape around you. And I show you another example because there are so many here. I mean, you saw them during the video as well. It's a bit choppy because I'm recording the screen to show you. So it's a bit slow, the software, because I have so many things open. I have the selfie stick. This one is the normal one. And then I can reframe and show you the front. Look how beautiful. So I don't have to be worrying about where to point. And also you have a massive touch screen and I love it because it's very intuitive. I didn't even take the instructions, I had to say. And it's very intuitive to record. This thing is such a tiny setup and you can take it with you everywhere and record everything just doing like this. <laughs> it's as easy as that. And the selfie stick is very tiny and you can extend it a lot, which is great. So yeah, I'm very happy with this camera. You have an app for the phone and you can get incredibly creative over there because you have a section called Shot Lab and you're gonna be able to see so many cool tutorials for you to be creative with your camera. Check it out below, I'm gonna put a link so you can browse and see the specifications of this camera even better. But I think during the vlog, you saw already so many cool shots I've taken with this for you to see as an example what you can do with it. So again, thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna keep using it a lot during all my travels. I really hope you enjoyed this photography vlog. If you did, please comment below because I want to do more like this. I think it's more fun to watch. For me, it's more fun as well to edit and more creative. And also it's educational as well, or at least I hope so. <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. And I will see you very soon. Big love from Bali.